In this video blog, we will talk about Foglet for Active Directory. Foglet for Active Directory was built to address the challenge of understanding the relationship between the different components of an Active Directory environment, detect, diagnose, and resolve performance and availability problems affecting Active Directory environment, and communicating state and service quality information to different stakeholders. Let's take a look at our Active Directory environment. For the Active Directory environment, we have an Active Directory environment tab, as well as frequently asked questions tab, showing us questions about different parts of the Active Directory environments, the domain controllers, the domains, the sites, and the forests. At any point in time, we can change the number here to get the top 5, top 10, top 20, uh, depending on what kind of search we would like to do. Let's go back to the Active Directory environment. As you can see, at the top of the Active Directory environment, we have forests, domains, sites, and domain controllers. Clicking on a tile will show us all the objects in this environment. Clicking on a specific alarm indicator will show us only the components that are in that state. Clicking on a specific forest will show us information about that forest. We can see some alarm indicators. We can see inventory by category, statistics, roles, forest trusts, and top three consumers. Switching to the domain style, we can see a list of domains. For each one of these domains, we can see alarm indicators, inventory by category, statistics, roles, domain trust, and consumers, top three consumers. In the sites tile, we can see a list of sites. And for that side, we can again see alarm indicators as well as domain controllers, global catalogs, inventory by category, and alarm indicators domain controller details, information about the top consumers too. From here we can go to the domain controllers themselves and drill down to a specific domain controller. For this domain controller we can see information about its services, the OS it's running on top of, we can see the IP address. We can see information coming from the virtual machine and the ESX host. We can see information about its health, CPU, memory, network, storage. We can see information about the CPU, memory, disk, and network usage. Information about the Active Directory metrics. And we can switch between those metrics to show database, LDAP, replication, or others. Let's drill down to this domain controller and look at it in an AD Explorer view. We can see information about resource utilization from this virtual machine, CPU, network, disk, memory, information about core services, including the fact that the Kerberos service on this machine is currently in a stopped state. Scrolling down, we can see summary and resource information, IP address, operating system, uptime, name of the site, capacity from a virtual machine perspective, the CPU, memory, network interfaces, and storage devices, as well as information about the fact that the LDAP client sessions are trending up on this domain controller, but also alarms coming from the virtual machine monitoring perspective, mainly memory usage and paging. Looking at the other tabs, we can see information about databases, information about the LDAP service itself, information about replication, as well as the frequently asked questions that we talked about earlier. Thank you very much for your time. For more information, you can go to www.quest.com or visit the new Quest community at communities.quest.com.